Hey everybody, if you like what you see, stick around because this is what I'm doing in today's video. All right, so today I am working on a 12 by 24 canvas and I'm going to be using a spatula. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought, why not? All right, and I'm going to go ahead and start with my folk art white pearl. I'm going to go ahead and cover the canvas and I will be right back. All right. So I got my gloves on. I'm going to go ahead and coat this canvas with the white pearl using my spatula. And for those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe if you like this. And for those of you that already are subscribed, welcome back. Um, you see that I am layering my paints down the side. That's the way I like to pour them in. I'm using just a few colors today. Um, all of my colors and brands will be in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip my cup and put it on the spatula. For me, this is easier um, than a regular flip and drag. You can use a spatula to kind of help um, not let so much of the paint out. I have a tendency of when I put the cup down onto the canvas and I lift it, I have a lot more paint come out and then I don't have enough to go all the way down to the end. Um, so I find that using a spatula uh, really works for me. So if you are one of those people that has a little bit of trouble with a flip and drag the old school way, uh, get yourself a spatula. Um, I have a couple different ones. This is a wider one. I do have one that's a little uh, uh, smaller. It's still larger, but it's smaller than this one um, and just to let you guys know all of my paints are mixed with my regular pouring medium which is Liquitex pouring medium Floetrol and water and this batch of pouring medium does not have any GAC 800 I do like to use it but I have run out um, so now you can see I am popping all of those stubborn air bubbles I'm having a little bit of a hard time there. I think my uh, torch was running out of butane, so I'm trying to use up as much as I can uh, until I am done with this video, and then I'll go ahead and uh, fill it up. But for now, I'm just working with what I got. All right, so there we go. I've got them popped as much as I can, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start tilting. Um, you can see all of the um, natural cells that are uh, developing. I do not have any silicone. I, I don't use it rarely. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. But for the most part, I don't use silicone in any of my uh, paintings. It can be a pain to try to wash off once you're um, going to uh, seal it. So I just... Uh, choose to avoid that whole step by not using silicone <laughs> but like I said I do use it rarely and if I do I will let you guys know so for this one no silicone all right so I am just trying to look at the composition a little bit and see uh, where I want to go with it um, I do like all those natural cells that are are happening there and I like the little bit of negative space not a lot in this one just a little bit and then I'm just gonna try to run some of those um, cells down in that uh, red area it's kind of um, predominantly red so I'm gonna try to stretch that out and um, I'm really kind of loving how this is looking and hopefully it will stay looking that nice probably have some more cells develop excuse my mess of hair <laughs> um, touch up the sides there and um, should be getting to the wet photos for you guys to see um, had quite a few more cells develop again those are all natural no silicone I love 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 the sides of my canvas sometimes sides are very important to make sure that you get those covered as well um, so far so good so fingers crossed that this dries just as nice may have some more cells develop though um, so here is the dried results so we can check that out 
and you can see I did get quite a few more cells I am loving this piece I love the gold and the copper I think it turned out amazing I would love to hear your thoughts so leave me a comment below don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and share this video as well it helps my channel out so much and I really appreciate it so now just click that link on the left and I'll catch you in my next video